This is the craziest story of medical malpractice I have heard in a long time. So this beautiful couple is William and Beverly Bryan, who are from Alabama, but were visiting Florida last month when all of a sudden, William got this horrible pain on his left side. They decide it's in the best interest to just go to the ER and get checked out, make sure everything's fine. So they end up at Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast Hospital in Miramar, Florida. While there, Dr. Thomas Shevnosky runs imaging and tells William that he absolutely has to have surgery because his spleen is enlarged and bleeding. Immediately, Beverly calls their doctor in Alabama, explains what's going on, and the doctor in Alabama is like, no, 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 you guys need to come home, get back to Alabama, and I'll have you know, a team of surgeons waiting on you, but don't have the surgery in Florida. But Dr. Shuknovsky tells William, there is no going back to Alabama. If you don't have the surgery now, you're going to die. You have to have the surgery here and now. So William and Beverly agree, and at 4 p.m. he is prepped for surgery. There's a couple problems with this though. The OR staff is looking at each other like, what is going on? First, they had a skeleton crew. They did not have enough staff members for the procedure. Second, None of them felt that Dr. Shiknowski was capable of handling such a complicated procedure. And third, they rarely do these procedures in their hospital because it's so complex and high risk. So they move forward with surgery and as he's removing the spleen, an artery ruptures, causing massive bleeding, which sends Mr. Bryan into cardiac arrest. So the OR staff jumps into action. They call their code, they start a blood transfusion, and they start CPR. While the team is working on Mr. Bryan for 15 minutes, the doctor is continuing to attempt to remove the spleen while they're doing CPR on this man. Despite the staff's best effort to save his life, Mr. Bryan dies on the OR table and is sent to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy. So the medical examiner is super confused and keeps referencing his notes and sees that the man's spleen is supposed to be removed, but it wasn't. His spleen was intact exactly where it should be in the body. So he continues with the autopsy and notice that the man's liver is missing. The doctor removed Mr. Bryan's liver, not his spleen. Keep in mind, they are on opposite sides of the body. And then for icing on top, the medical examiner said that the spleen was barely bleeding. Remember, he wasn't allowed back to Alabama because he wouldn't have made it. He was bleeding so bad he was going to die. No, the medical examiner said, yes, it was bleeding, but very minimal, and he could have made it back to Alabama for the surgery. Come to find out, this doctor severed the man's vena cava, which caused him to immediately bleed out. And then while he was bleeding out, he removed the liver instead of the spleen. Of course, this is reported to the Florida Department of Health where they learn this is not the first time Dr. Thomas Shiknowski has removed the wrong organ from a patient. Four days ago, his license was suspended by the state and hopefully he will not be able to hurt any more patients in the future.